Hi, my name is David. Today we're gonna to do number 100, same tree. This is an easy level problem on LeetCode and we're gonna solve it in JavaScript. So we're giving the roots of two binary trees, P and Q here. And here's the binary tree function. And we wanna see if they're identical or not. So we can look at this example, one and one is identical, two and two is identical, three and three is identical. So we have to see that the nodes are the same and also they're structurally the same as well. So this on the right side doesn't have any extra nodes that doesn't that aren't represented on the left side. So to solve this problem, we can use a recursive approach and we can think of what will make this false. So it will be, it'll be false if the values are not the same. And also if one of the sides has a value, has a node, but the other one doesn't have a node, it's null. So, and if it doesn't hit any of the false cases, we return true. And if we iterate through the entire tree, we'll get to null. And then if both of the sides, both of the trees are null, it's true. So that would be part of the recursion. So the first part of it is that if both P and Q are both null. So if P and Q are both null, we return true. So none of the cases to make it false happens. And we iterate it through the entire tree, we return true. So now we have to think of what will make it false. So if, so there will be three different cases. So if P is null, while Q has a value, we return false. So if P is null while Q isn't, or the other way around, Q is null while P isn't, or this one more case, and that'll be when the values are not the same. We return false. And then we call, so we have to call each of these functions. So return is same tree. And we have to call it both on the left side and the right side recursively. So tree left for both and is same tree right for both. So we can do an and here. So, cause we only need one of these to be false to make the entire thing false. So, and if it doesn't hit either of the falses, we return true. So let's look at our base case. If P is equal to null and Q is equal to null, return true. Now we have to look at the reasons to make it false. So there's three different ones. So we have the inner parentheses here. So if P is equal to null and Q isn't equal to null, or now we do the opposite, P is not equal to null and Q is equal to null. Or the values are not the same. P dot val does not equal to Q dot val return false. And next we have to call these functions recursively. So return is same tree for the left side, so we have, and it takes both of them. So P dot left, comma, Q dot left, and is same tree, P dot right, and then Q dot right. Great.
Great. So that's it for this one. So the time and space complexity. Since we are iterating through the entire tree at the worst case, both of them. So it's going to be O of N plus M. And then a space complexity. Oh, actually the lower, the it will be the least amount of it. So, and then the space complexity will be also O of N. And N here, where N is the sortest number of nodes between Q and P, because we're only gonna iterate to the shortest one. And then if the other one has longer, more nodes, we return false. So we don't have to iterate through the rest of them. And that's how you solve this one. Thank you so much.